Hey guys, it's Juju Talk Sports, joined by C-Money, and we are here for episode three of Cobra Kai, Escalito. Now, obviously, horrible with the Spanish. Skeleton, right? Christian? Skeleton, it's mainly pronounced es- es- See, I can't even spell it. I can't even pronounce it right. Esqueleto. Esqueleto. Okay. And that, of course, is a callback to our one, one of the big major karate kid callbacks, uh, Johnny's choice of costume for Miguel. They have that shared in common. Um, I, I don't know. I think he should have rocked the poor man, though, costume. What do you think? Yeah, you- that, poor, that, that poor man costume was really awesome. That should be costume of the year. I mean, his mom, his grandmother worked really hard on that one. So honestly, I think it's a little insensitive that Miguel didn't wear that to the Halloween party, honestly. I know, especially since they spent maybe five minutes on it, have to wear it. Yeah, I mean, the grandma, she's like, this isn't a sweatshop. And still, mom's like, I don't care. We got to make a, we got to make the best dead pool costume that we can. And then Johnny and Miguel just spit all over it. Just, you know what? Screw your poor man. I'm going to go as a skeleton, as a bully from Cobra Kai. Of course, that gives more PTSD to uh, Daniel in that moment. I mean, just thinks back to his high school memories. Um, but interesting, funny episode. We had a couple cool things. We had some more um, of Miguel's training starting to take a turn. We start to see some signs of the karate kid as he starts to figure it out. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, like we also had a the actual struggles and implications of trying to randomly open up a karate dojo as of course uh johnny's storyline revolves around him realizing hey i probably need more than one student to run a successful business uh Mm -hmm. as the bills start rolling in us what were some of your favorite moments from this show or this um so I noticed that this episode really touched on the in-school bullying a lot. Um, a big thing in the original Karate Kid was Daniel was getting bullied all the time. But what I liked about this episode is that they don't, they show that also the females get bullied. Like there's that scene where uh, Aisha talks to Sam and Sam says, oh, for Halloween, we're going as, we're going as Lakers cheerleaders. And then um, Aisha brings up the idea as going as a table salt. And then Sam, to be a really good friend, says, oh, well, if you want to, if you want to join us, we can get you a costume. And then Yasmin, Yasmin, the blonde, the blonde rich girl says, oh, well, that seems like false advertising. One size fits all. Yeah. Now, Yasmin's just the worst, isn't she? Yeah, she's the worst. We're very early on in the series, and we're trying to go episode by episode here before we really announce who's like our most hated list and everything like that. But uh, I think based off the characters you've been introduced to, to at this point, Yasmin's probably up there. She's probably one. It's between her and Kyler, basically, between mm-hmm. who has the douchiest name between the two. Yes. yes. Vote, in the yeah. poll. Vote in a poll below. Yasmin, Kyler, who's the worst? Who's the worst between these two? I still say Kyler. Kyler bugs me. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely not the one that you want deflowering your uh, baby girl, um, as we saw from (laughs) Daniel's uh, little run in there. Very human emotion. You don't want, obviously, we haven't entered that uh, halls of fatherhood ourselves, but you generally don't want your daughters dating. First off, if, uh, if a guy walks through my door named Kyler, booting me out the door anyway. I'm sorry, you're, oh, this yeah. is not allowed to happen. <laughs> it's like, Kyler, what kind of name is that? <laughs> Come back to me with a respectable name and then we'll talk. And then we'll talk. Data Tyler or Kevin, we're not, or Kyle, we're not doing a Kyler. <laughs> and then also uh, to our viewers, um, if your name is Kyler, we don't dislike all Kylers. We just mainly dislike the one in the show. Yeah, uh, he, he represents your entire namesake. <laughs> this Kyler from this show. <laughs> Um, another part that I really liked, which I thought was funny, was uh, when um, <laughs> ah, when when Johnny was walking around the parks, handing people flyers, and then and then he sees that old man with the young girl, 
and they and they says, "Hey man, you're you're not too old to kick ass." He just like throws the flyer away, and Johnny just look at him like, "Really, bro? Did you just throw it away?" Uh, yeah. I mean, in fairness, in in fairness to the guys in the park too, if some random dude comes up with a headband and hands you a karate flyer, you're probably gonna say no. I think that yeah. goes more into a thing you're going to see throughout Cobra Kai, this uh, caveman trapped in time thing that Johnny's got <laughs> going on because he's very noobish when it comes to stuff on the internet. But when Miguel shows him the Cobra Kai website, he's like, How the hell, what the fuck is this? What the, what the fuck's a laptop? <laughs> and it's just like, I know people like that. I know they're not that often or too too many of them that you see when you walk around, but there are people that don't even know how to turn on their computer. And that's yeah. kind of like a thing you see with like Johnny, like throughout this series. Uh, all right. Well, let's see here. What another big episode hit was, of course, you mentioned uh, Yasmin. She had another moment there with um, Aisha. So Aisha, again, like Sam's old friend, as she starts to move from the nerds to the cool kids. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Big moment on terms of bullying. Don't bully. Don't be a dick. I know high school is just kind of like inane in your blood, but basic law of life, kids, if you're watching this, if you're in high school, don't be a dick. Just don't. Don't do it. Uh, That is my one advice to you, whether you're watching this episode, whether you're watching our review, don't be a dick. All right. Take that to the bank. Uh, All right. Talk to your favorite moments. I guess let's put a rating on this and put a bow on this episode. All right, I'm gonna give it a four warning track power. Um, I, I like this episode a lot. I do think the reason why I like it is because it's starting to escalate the show even more. This isn't like a, oh my God, that was amazing. This is more of like a later on, you're gonna see what happens. You're already guessing what's gonna happen. And then um, we see that Miguel is still being bullied even though he's training with with Johnny a lot um so yeah I, I I like this episode but it wasn't near as perfect okay so IMDB gave it an 8.3 you gave it warning track power which is about a four for us I'm going to say warning track power as well um a lot of good things I liked as I mentioned he's Miguel starting to turn the corner in the training they had that really cool scene also at the pool area mm-hmm. um and we got to see, you got to use a little bit of his kicks, a little bit of his training, but not quite there yet. So we still got a ways to go. Um, maybe coming in, I want to say the next couple episodes, we'll start to see a turn on that training even more. But uh, keep tuned in. Keep checking out the episodes. But to do that, to be following this series here, go ahead and give us a subscription. Give us a like. Comment below. As I mentioned, Yasmin yeah, Kyler, who's the worst? And uh, we'll be back here with episode four of our Cobra Kai review series. We'll catch you next time, guys.